Hello drone friends, this is Alan at UAV Coach and Drone Pilot Ground School. Happy Friday morning. Uh, welcome to our drone weekly news roundup. We have three stories for you this week and I'm going to jump right in and start with a Snap. Uh, Snap is the name of the company that owns the Snapchat social media app and some of you might remember that uh, they had a product called Spectacles as well back in 2016. These glasses uh, meant to bring augmented reality to uh, life uh, as you kind of know when about your day. But glasses aren't cool anymore. Drones are and Snap has released their very own drone called the Pixie. It's small, it's yellow, it can take off and land from your hand. It also has a follow me mode and can send video footage directly back to your Snapchat account. At this time, the Pixie is $230. Now, if you buy the Pixie, you will need to get your Trust Recreational Flyer Certificate from the FAA before you start flying. This program has been around for about 11 months now and is required for all recreational drone pilots here in the US. But don't let this turn you off from flying. It's quite easy to get your trust certificate. It's free, it takes about 30 minutes. Uh, here at UAV Coach, we actually worked directly with the FAA to administer this training and certification process uh, to you. Um, we are so proud to work with the FAA as an approved test administrator. Over 50,000 people have used us to go through uh, the, the trust process. We'll link to more information below this video in the description. Next up, Florida Power & Light plans to use drones from a company called Percepto to track their electric systems and power distribution grids. These drones live in a box and are capable of fully autonomous operations, so taking off, flying a pattern, collecting visual data, and then returning uh, back to their weatherproof stations to upload that data and recharge for the next flight. Florida Power & Light will start with 13 drones. Ultimately, their goal is to have hundreds throughout the state of Florida. Uh, we are wishing Florida Power & Light lots of success with this program. Okay, lastly, the FAA has awarded $4.4 million in funding to seven universities for drone research. This is through what's called an ASSURE grant. ASSURE stands for Alliance for System Safety of UAS through Research Excellence. And according to the FAA, the funding will help them integrate drones into the national airspace. The seven universities are the University of North Dakota, the University of Kansas, Drexel University, the Ohio State University, Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University, Mississippi State University, and Oregon State University. Uh, each university received grants for researching specific drone topics. Um, one of the cool things about being in this industry for the last uh, almost eight years now is that me and my team have gotten to learn a lot about how a large government department like the FAA works. Um, how rules get passed, how public and private partnerships like uh, us working with them on the trust program for recreational flyers or them, uh, the, the FAA, providing grants to these universities for drone research. Just very cool uh, to see the FAA roll out programs like this and to invest in these students. Um, all right, folks, that's all we have for this week. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on the latest drone news. Remember to check out the links below to read more. Thanks for watching, and as always, uh, to all of you drone pilots out there, blue skies and safe flying.